25 years ago, it was thought that the solid owl did not migrate through Pennsylvania, that it only migrated down the coast. Many birders don't ever get to see a solid owl because you have to go out in the woods at night. My name is Sandy Lockerman and I am an owl bander. I've been banding solid owls for 25 years. 25 years ago, a colleague of ours put nets out up near Reading and caught a couple dozen. And the Ned Smith Center was just new at the time and we were looking for some kind of banner project. And when we found out about this, them catching this up near Reading, we thought, well, let's check out the mountain ridges here in central Pennsylvania. So we put nets up the first fall, we caught 23. Second year, we caught 73. The third year, we caught 703. So we started the project and other people started setting up solid owl banding stations. Let's look and see. Yeah, they do migrate through Pennsylvania. Peak is about the last week of October, first week of November is when the, the bulk of them come through. I've always loved owls. I always loved birds. As a youngster, I had the Ned Smiths posters from the Game Commission hanging in my bedroom. But I first started doing surveys and point counts for different projects. And then when the Ned Smith Center said they were going to research the solid owl, I jumped in and said, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in, yeah. Banding is one of the, the biggest ways to know where these birds are migrating to and from four ounces. When we catch a bird, okay, and the hardest part, we measure their legs without getting talent. And we put a band on their leg that is not too tight and not too loose. Weigh the bag. And then I take a leg gauge and see whether it gets a four short or a three A. The three A is tight. So we will put a four, size four band on it. All right. Then if another bander catches it, four, two, six. Or if you find one dead along the road or in the woods, you can report that to the bird banding lab on their website and they will tell you where the bird was banded. And this is one of the, the biggest ways to know where these birds are migrating to and from. We have a very high percentage that get recaught. Solid owls are about 15 to 20 percent. Songbirds are about point oh one percent so we're not sure if we're on the right place is it the audio lore are there so few of them that we keep catching them i think it's that we're at the right place and they're running the ridge they hear the audio lore they're curious about oh what's that really loud solid owl singing down there and they come to check it out and get caught. Five, seven, four, two, six. So it's not any of ours from this year. Yeah, four, two. Red. One, one, oh, four, five, seven. No, this is a foreign recovery. This is somebody else's owl. Hot wow. dog. <laughs> wow. Wow. 145 for wow. the wing. Okay. 152 for flatten. Tail is 76. Wow. That's a good 
Left Alola is 125. Right Alola is 125. 10.2. Blow in the wing pit to look at the subcutaneous fat. That's yeah. the short term. Put a little bit of fat, give her a one. And Keith is going to check its eye color. 329. 329. Okay. It'll be a second year, but just a couple were retained. But the black light will tell us for sure. She's posing good. Okay. I found the opening. And Gary gets it off. Okay. So we check both legs to make sure there's no band on either leg. And there is not. Three, five, five, seven, three. Correct. And then we have those that stick around and get caught four, five, six, seven times in the course of a couple weeks. But that tells us they have plenty of food. And then when the cold snap hits, they leave town and continue their migration. I want to make sure that the band is closed. We're going to do the wing cord. One hundred and forty millimeters and one hundred forty two tail seventy. The right alola is one fifty. So one forty wing on the chart and a weight of 94.5 makes it a female. 9.3, feeling the keel for long-term health and it's a 2.5, which is average. 96.5, wow. that's a light one. I think we have a male? Close. We didn't quite understand why they were mostly getting females. Go ahead. Four, six, two. And we're starting to think that the males don't leave their territories. They stay put. How long is your wing? 126. Oh, 126. <laughs> Definite male. Definite male? Yeah. Okay. 126, 74, 7, definite male. 61. I'm sorry? 61. 61. Uh, 2.5. Oh my heavens. 8.7. Wow. These are all small numbers yep. compared to what I'm used to hearing. Uh, left Alula is 25, right Alula is 25, and a little bit of fat. Oh, you're on the light side of things there. 336, I'm going to go with. Okay. Hatch here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't think it would be an adult. All nice, the same color. Yeah. Oh, but we have to do a black light for you because the whole thing will be lit. Thank you. Yeah, so the porphyrins are a-glowing. And the ones there in the middle, the, the sunlight has broken it down to the point that, that it doesn't glow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's very subtle to see it. Yeah. We know that they go down the coast. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3. 112.3.
but we also know now that they go down the mountain ridge because we've had our owls from here caught by other banders and we've caught other birds of other banders. So they are running these ridges just like the hawks, the eagles, the bats. They're following these ridges through central Pennsylvania. Two, 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 and the rest are ones. And uh, so this way we can have a handle on the population and a handle on their health. So it's pretty exciting to help to uncover a mystery.